Hi guys, this is Leo. Welcome to the ZW3D training lessons. In this lesson, we will talk about the solid modeling module, which is one of the most important modules in ZW3D. I hope you can learn something and enjoy the lesson. And this is all the contents I will cover in this lesson. In general, there will be two big parts, a solid modeling basic and a solid modeling advanced. And totally there are 10 chapters. In this video, uh, we will talk about the first chapter, uh, basic shape, in which I will show you how to create basic shapes by extrude Evolve, sweep, and loft features. Now let's get started. The first page is about the quick shape. In ZW3D, you can create five common shapes without sketching. And you can do the Boolean operation uh, while you are creating the shapes, like Boolean add, Boolean remove, Boolean intersect, etc. Now let's move over to ZW3D to see more about it. Okay. So in the uh, top left side of ZW3D interface, we can see uh, the quick shape commands. Uh, block, cylinder, cone, sphere, and uh, ellipsoid. Now let's uh, say it one by one. Let's create a new file. Okay, so first let's see how to use the block. Actually, it's very simple. You just define a point and then you can drag uh, to the uh, corner point. And also, uh, you can change the length, width, and the height uh, in the box, like uh, change it to 80. Okay. And also you can double click and change the value uh, manually. Okay. After that, just click OK to validate. Okay. This is how we create a block. Okay. Uh, the next command is a cylinder. So it's also very easy to understand, right? So first, we define its center point. Here we can uh, use the uh, center point of the top face of the uh, block as the center of the cylinder. Okay, and then uh, we uh, uh, define its radius and also the length. Okay. And of course, you can uh, type the value in the box. And as I said before, we can do the Boolean operation while we're creating the quick shape. Here we can use the uh, Boolean add. Okay. And after we click OK, you can see the two, so uh, the two solids are combined into one. Okay. And the next one is the cone. Okay, let's see. It's similar to the cylinder. All we need to do is we define the center point and we define the radius. Of course, in the right menu, you can uh, define the radius by a point, by end point right here. And then you can uh, define its length. And also, you can define the uh, top, top radius to make it a truncated uh, coin. Here we also use the Boolean add. Okay. And the next one is a sphere. Okay. And it's also very simple. We just define the center and the radius. That's all. Center and the radius. Here we can use the Boolean uh, remove. Okay. Now this is the result. And the last one is the ellipsoid. Actually, it's similar to the uh, sphere. All we need to do is define the face, define the center, 
and the define the band y land and z land. Here we also use the uh, boolean remove. Okay, now that's the result. Okay, this is all about the quick shape. Now let's move over to the uh, PowerPoint again. Next, I will show you uh, extrude and revolve commands. These two commands may be the most common used features during mechanical design, right? So now let's talk about uh, electrode first. Uh, about electrode, uh, uh, there are several key parameters you need to know. The first one is uh, profile. Let me show my pen. The first one is profile. So in ZW3D, the, uh, the extrude profile can be uh, sketch, wireframe, and even planar faces. And of course, you can uh, just select part of the uh, sketch as, as the uh, close area to extrude. And the second parameter uh, is the uh, extrude position, including the start position and the end position. And then now we can uh, input the value manually. And also, if you have already have uh, expressions, you can uh, you can re uh, reference the expression directly. And also, we uh, we support uh, to extrude to a point or to a face, etc. Okay. And the next one is boolean operation. This one needs us to say uh, more about it. It's similar to the quick shape. You can uh, do the boolean operation while extruding. Okay. And the fourth parameter is about some uh, transformations, like you can do the draft while extruding, and also you can make offset during the uh, extruding. And the other interesting thing is even you can uh, make twist when you are doing extruding. Later I'll show you in the software. Okay, and the next parameter is about the profile ca uh, cap. So you can define the result of the extrude is open surface or closed solid by uh, adjusting the uh, profile cap option. Okay. And uh, the next one is the tolerance. So uh, actually, most of the commands have its own local tolerance. And by default, the tolerance is equal to the global tolerance. So actually, you do not need to uh, change it. OK, Okay. this is all about the uh, key parameters of extrude. And for revolve, actually, uh, it's a little, a little bit different. The difference is. Uh, you need to uh, define the profile, the axis, and the angle for a uh, revolve. But in extrude, you don't need the axis and the angle, right? So, but for the other options, it's similar to it's very similar to the extrude. Okay. So now let's move over to the software. Uh, for extrude, as I said before, the profile can be uh, sketch. And also, the profile can be wireframe or even a planar surface. But here, we'll just take the uh, sketch as an example uh, to show you how to use the extrude command. Okay, extrude. And here are some uh, required uh, parameters, like the profile is, is necessary to input. So for this case, we can uh, uh, select the whole uh, sketch. Here you can see because the sketch is not a closed ring, right? So the extrude result will be open, some open surfaces, right? So here we got an option. It's called, called closed ring. We can click on it and we can uh, define the uh, which side we need to extrude. Like if you click on this one, it will extrude only this area, right? It will live along the, uh, the, the top area, okay? 
And if you uh, select uh, the top area, it will extrude only the top area, right? Okay, here we just use the uh, lower area. Okay. And the next required of, uh, parameter is the extrude type. So it can be one side, and also you can uh, change the direction. One side, two side, like you want to change, you want to extrude in both direction with or with different values. You can use the two uh, two sides, okay. And also you can use the uh, symmetrical. Okay, now it will extrude uh, in both direction with same uh, distance. Okay. Uh, here we just use the uh, one side. And, uh, we change it. Also, we can double click to make it like uh, three hundred. Okay. Now, actually, all the uh, required parameter parameters has been uh, input. We can just click OK to get the re results. Okay. Uh, but there are uh, more uh, options uh, to uh, for you to define, so we can uh, re redefine it, and we can see more uh, options. Okay, the next one is a uh, boolean operation. Because we do not have uh, a base solid here, so you can see the boolean add, boolean remove, and the boolean intersect is uh, green, right? So we can only make it a uh, Independent solid. Okay. And the next option is draft. In ZW3D, in ZW3D, we can draft uh, the solid while we are doing the extrude. Okay, we can make it here. We can make it uh, with a, a and I make a, a open profile here, right? And then I extrude. Uh, make it ten and uh, symmetrical. Okay, now you can see this is the default extrude result for this open open sketch, right? But if we uh, check the boolean add option, and then we define the profile cape as this one. You can see the preview. It's quite interesting. It will extend uh, the default result to the boundary, right? You can see the result. After we click OK, you can see we we have make made a, a solid like this. Okay. The next command I would like to show you is a uh, revolve. It's also a common used uh, command. Now let's see how to use it. I click on the revolve, and uh, now we can see there are some required uh, <coughs> input. Like the first one is the uh, profile of the revolve. Here we uh, just select the uh, whole sketch, and the next one, next one is the a revolve axis. Here we can uh, use this one, uh, the, the Z axis, to be the revolve axis. Okay. And the next parameter is the start angle and the end angle. Like we can drag it here to make it like this, or you can uh, make it by default. Start zero and end 360. Okay. And the other options uh, are similar to uh, extrude, so we will not spend uh, so much time to repeat. Okay, here we can uh, click OK to to see the result. Okay, this is the basic usage of the revolve. And here I'll show you another advanced usage of re revolve. Uh, it's about the revolve axis. So just now we use the uh, default Z axis as the revolve axis. So sometimes if we need the uh, other uh, revolve axis, what should we do? Like if the revolve axis is right here. 
So what can we do? Here I'll show you how to do it. We uh, move over to the sketch and uh, we make another axis. We use this one axis here. Okay. Like this, I, uh, I like this one to be my revolve axis. But by default, if you uh, exit the sketch environment, the axis will be gone, right? It will be disappear. So here I'll show you how to make it uh, display even in the 3D uh, environment. Okay, we click on it and we right click and here you can see toggle external and internal. So we click on it and here you can see it turn to uh, like a yellow color. So here when we exit the sketch, it will still ex uh, still exist, still display in the 3D environment. And when we do the revolve, it will be our uh, revolve axis by default. Okay, here you can see the result is completely different. Okay, this is another uh, usage uh, of uh, revolve.